Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Dave McLeod is a climber who has truly done it all. From very hard trad to gnarly Scottish winter ascents, he's an all-rounder in the true sense of the word. He's got a new film out called Undiscovered, which premiered at the Kendall Mountain Film Festival. And we were there to hang out with Dave a little bit and find out more about Scottish climbing and his film. I'm Dave McLeod, uh, I'm a professional climber from Scotland and we're here at the Kendall Mountain Festival. This evening I'm showing a film called Undiscovered which just kind of follows my uh, journey doing new routes in Scotland over the past 25 years. I got into doing new routes by accident really, uh, just by necessity because I was just going to the crags and it didn't take me that long in Scotland to come across things that I was staring at, stood with a guidebook in my hand going, what's that route? And then going, oh, it's not in the guidebook. And that was the first trigger to get me into it. But then I just found the actual process of doing new routes so rewarding and so enjoyable. Chris Prescott, who, who shot the, the film, um, I think he was just interested in seeing that A, in the UK, in, in some places that are not so far away, they're not on the other side of the world from climbers in this country, um, and yet they really do have a feeling of wildness. I think my favourite aspect of Scottish climbing is the variety of it in one country, and the landscapes as you move from one part of Scotland to another, they're really quite different. In the summer we go to the, the islands a lot and do a lot of sea cliff climbing. Some of them are quite short, single pitch, but we also have like almost big walls, like 400 metre trad sea cliffs. There's nowhere in the UK like St Kilda. It is a spectacular place. The remoteness, the weather, all these things prevent lots of people from going there. As a climber, you just look at those peaks, they're like the peaks of of the Alps sticking out of the sea. You are aware because of you, you've been sailing that, that of the space of water around it, but there's just nothing for hundreds of miles in any direction. I think the thing that motivates me is problem solving. Um, I like problem solving with uh, like just pure effort. <laughs> But I also love that you can solve problems with like learning and then you can make a problem easier. I almost never do things the standard sequence. Like, you know, if it's like a boulder problem in some famous area like Magic Wood or something like that, I almost never use the standard sequence. I do like the fact that the rock gives you a chance to work, work out another way. I do spend a lot of time thinking and planning about the approach. Um, and actually, a, a lot of that's the purpose of it, is to try and actually minimize the amount of work that you have to put in. Because if you're sort of swimming with the tide, if you like, and you're, you've got all these things right with your, your training and preparation, then it, actually the journey towards your climbing goals can be not <laughs> nearly as hard as you might think. For doing serious routes in the mountains, the risk I would justify on the face of it by saying there's not much risk that I try and do these routes quite safely. But ultimately I want to do the routes so much. So occasionally I have done some really quite hard and risky trad routes where the risk was actually quite big, but I was comfortable with that because 
I wanted to do that and I went into it with my eyes open if you like. I started writing a blog in 2006. It really helped me to connect with a lot of climbers. But in recent years, I could see that people are reading blogs less and, and I could see that YouTube, you know, people were spending a lot of time on there. And, that the, and I was also getting more used to producing videos and a bit quicker at it. In this episode, I'm going to talk about celebrating and moving on from hard projects. Many of you who subscribe to my channel will know that I just completed uh, an E10 project on Peninsulus about a week ago that I was working on for a long time and that was a very very satisfying experience. Uh, completing that project reminded me of a blog post that I wrote on my blog about 10 years ago that was called Earning the Raspberry Cheesecake. Mm. I do think in the coming years it may be is going to be a more important message for climbers because it's maybe going to get a little bit more challenging for us to justify just going all around the world all the time. I'm from Glasgow so I grew up in a city and although that's a city that's quite near the mountains it's still not the same as moving to the mountains and I guess one other thing that this film does is it shows off the idea of moving to the mountains and making a life in the mountains as a climber. The film will be on Vimeo On Demand um, from today or tomorrow, I think. Uh, so yeah, if people want to download it, they'll see it. The film is truly beautiful and there's a link in the description below if you want to go and watch it, and you really should. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.